Hi there, Mark Lees, Crayfish Capers. Over the last 10 years of trapping, talking about and cooking the uh, signal crayfish, we've noticed a large increase in the amount of people that are both interested and concerned about the subject. When we first started trapping, you would get two or three people out of ten that actually knew about the crayfish. Nowadays, we very rarely speak to anyone that has not only heard about them, but knows of an infested stretch of river near them. In an effort to answer some of your questions about trapping, this film shows a complete year. It will show you, season by season, how things change. We also give you our opinion on what's happening out there, whether there are more, whether there are less. It's all based on our years and years of experience now and talking to many people up and down the riverbank. As far as we're concerned, there's only one way to tackle the problem and have any effect on it whatsoever, and that's to bring the crayfish into the UK diet, the mainstream diet of England. We do uh, demos and we cook recipes all around the country now and the main question that we're asked is where can we get them? So we know the demand is there, we know that people do want them to try. Anyway, on with the film, um, we will start in winter. So winter's upon us days are shorter, temperature of the water drops, which means that the crayfish turn to hibernation, which brings a couple more problems in. To do this, they burrow into the banks, which creates a vast amount of silt coming into the water, which doesn't seem too much of a problem visually, but come the spring, when our native fish are trying to spawn, the silt's covered the, the um, gravel beds which means no gravel beds, possibly no spawning. This brings us on to the second problem, which is the undermining. The burrows into the bank make the bank into a honeycomb effect, which weakens the bank, or once strong bank becomes an unstable bank which can collapse, which has happened in certain places. This uh, can change the flow of the water or even the course of the water in the end. It's now mid-January, the crayfish are in their burrows, the native fish are left to eat the meagre pickings that's left for them, and relatively everything's normal this time of year. So that's the winter. But the summer, that's a different situation altogether. Beautiful, isn't it? But what lies beneath? <laughs> 